today's video, I'm going to explain to you how I came about owning my very own VW Beetle. story time and um, the first beetle that I had was called Rhea and she was a 1972 she was red and cream two-tone and I bought her from a friend who was selling her when he went to New Zealand and his thing was that he wanted it to go to somebody who would love her I took one look at the picture online and I said that car's gonna be mine I've always loved beetles they're a bit like mom my aren't they you either love them or you hate them well I've always loved them so I thought why not have the opportunity to own my own so I got in touch with my friend and within a few minutes of chatting we both agreed that she was going to be mine. So I bought Rhea and we had a lovely couple of years together um, but then I decided to have her restored because she was full of rust and filler and lots of issues. She was actually a bit of a hybrid and um, she was meant to be a 72 but a lot of things on her had been changed to be an earlier car um, and it just wasn't right. So I took her to be restored here on the Isle of Wight and the person that I took her to actually ended up writing her off, which is really a shame. Um, we ended up selling everything that we could. Her chassis went to the mainland to become another beetle and a lot of bits and pieces of hers had to be sold on. The only thing I actually kept was her roof rack and her lights which are now in blue which is great. Baloo came along and he was for sale nearby. He was at the stage where he was ready to be painted so at that point it was like a blank canvas for me. The idea of owning a much earlier Beetle, a 66, was very exciting and I jumped at the chance. So we got to work and Blue was ready to be painted. I went and chose both the colours, which is the lovely blue and cream two-tone that he is and I couldn't wait for him to be done. I went to visit him every week whilst he was being painted until I was told that I wasn't allowed to see him anymore until he was finished, which was quite exciting. And then, only a couple of weeks later, he was ready to be picked up and driven around. VW Beetle. The colours that I've chosen for him are Florida Blue and Classic Wise, which is the two-tone blue and green that he is. And they are original VW colours, they're just not correct for the Beetle itself or the year of the car, um, but there was very limited options of what I could choose from and I really like the idea of having a blue and green two-tone Beetle. It does make him slightly unique, especially here on the Isle of Wight. I haven't seen any other two-tone Beetles really on the island. Uh, mainly just um, one colour ones, um, but there are quite a lot of VWs on the island. So it's a lovely opportunity when you're driving around to be able to wave at each other, so that's really nice. Nova absolutely loves my car. Hey Noves, you loving it? So history wise, I don't have a lot of history on Blue unfortunately. I haven't gone as far as paying for a certificate or anything like that. So all I've got is a few bits of paper that came out of his glove box originally um, that are sort of old parking tickets and stuff like that. From what I can gauge, he was last on the road in the 1980s, so actually he's had quite a long break. So to get him back up and running is really exciting and I'm really happy with the amount of work that we've managed to put into him to make him as reliable as he is now.
Make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more from me and Baloo in the future and what we're up to.